Hi friends and welcome back to Decorate Your Life. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this absolutely gorgeous uh, tag mini album that I created with just a regular run-of-the-mill camera tag as you I mean camera tag not tag <laughs> camera um, <laughs> die uh, and I decided to uh, turn it into a box so that it could hold the tags and so uh, yeah this is this uh, is the second half to this month's giveaway and I'll go ahead and leave you with all the giveaway rules and everything in the description down below plus links to what you see here enjoy the video okay so here we have this beautiful shabby chic um, tag mini album in a camera box <laughs> that I, excuse me, oh, that I made for this month's winner. Now this month's winner is not only going to walk away with this, but also with one pack of the paper collection. And of course, the uh, mini album that I showed in my last video, and I'll go ahead and link you to this video in the description area below. And so let's go ahead and do a quick uh, run through. So as you can see, I went ahead and turned this into a mini album box. Basically, I just uh, cut, die cut two pieces of the camera, uh, and I die cut the inserts from my paper collection, Whispers by Decorate Your Life. This is what the back looks like. I went ahead and turned this into a box and um, it is done with watercolor paper. So that way it'll be very sturdy. As you can hear, it is simply sturdy, sturdy. I also use some beads some of the beads that I have I went ahead and hot glued them down so that it'll make a stand and um, I went ahead and I used several different dies for my stash just generic type of dies as well as my dies from Spellbinders and here's this beautiful butterfly um, die that I got from Timo and I'll go ahead and leave you a link to the Timo uh, dies in the description area below plus a coupon code for you to use. I use my bows. Um, I like to get my bows from Timo because I am very um, bow challenged. <laughs> and speaking of bows, I decided to go ahead and add a bow along with a um, acrylic flower, flat back flower on the sides of the box. I thought it was very girly, very cute. And so as you can see, it's got bling, it's got flat back pearls right around here, the bows and everything. And I just love the way this came out. So let me set this to the side. Over here, what I did was I used my tags from Graphic 45 to make these. Plus, I also used my um, dies, my border dies from Heartfelt Creations. Plus, I used these flowers that I had ordered from a store in Poland. And I've also used a Heartfelt Creation. No, wait, I think this is a Spellbinders. Yeah, Spellbinders Corner die over here to just kind of like accentuate the very first tag. To the back of the tags, you're going to see just regular uh, cardstock that I glued onto here. The cardstock is from Hobby Lobby. And so, uh, as you can see now, the two type of tags are from that you see here are from Graphic 45. When I was a design team member, um, they had this type of album in which you uh, like a square box album in which you got just a regular uh, box square. Uh, cardstock. So that's what I use. And then, of course, we have the regular. Um, the regular um, square dies from Graphic 45, and of course they also have their um, what you call it, the dies for the inserts. And if you're interested in this, I'll go ahead and leave you with my affiliate link in the description down below. 
And so that is one of them. Here's another one. Aren't these precious? I just love, love, love these. And here is another one. They are so, so beautiful. And here's another tag. Excuse me. And here's another one. And another. And this is such a beautiful paper collection. Uh, I know quite a few ladies have used it for Mother's Day mini albums and whatnot. And uh, this Shabby Chic Whispers paper collection, you know, it's, it's good for just about anything. Know, whether it's for a birthday uh, projects or just for um, just something for you or oh it's part of the paper no <laughs> just something that you want to do that's you know shabby chic and elegant and pastel and and has quite a few uh, vintage uh, lovely ladies or Victorian vintage I think this is the perfect collection for it so yeah um, go ahead and check out the um, giveaway rules in the description area of my video and I will go ahead and call out a winner I will choose my winner and upload my video on Friday this time I promise not to take too long and so yeah um, let me know what you think of my um, project in the description down below and if you're interested make sure that you write if you're interested in the giveaway make sure that you write um, please enter me okay and uh yeah and make sure that you're a visible subscriber too i don't want you to miss on the on the opportunity to win my monthly giveaways because your settings are set to private because i do check in each and every single one who responds to the giveaways so yeah uh, one lucky person is going to win this and this along with the paper collection thank you so very much for watching Watching and I hope to see you once again real soon. Bye now.